Okay, hello, welcome to Rock Lesson. <coughs> another beat. As you can see, it's a little noisy on that, but I got this Strat, and I'm playing it like in a C sharp, and um, it's like on 11s, Ernie Ball, fucking 11s. So okay, so like I got this cheap fucking Tone Works Korg, 60 bucks on eBay, and it has drum beats in it that pretty much suck, but they're made for uh, shred, like. Um, Ten or so of them are okay. So, like, alright. So let's try one. Not that one. Like this one. That's pretty cool. But it's just a repeat, like, eight bar beat. Here we go. Put it back on the high end. Here. Thank you. 
basically like here's what I'm trying to show you in this lesson like if you play kind of classical um, on a key like a guitar like so you got like thrashy shit but you also have rock kind of stuff so So like, let's say you go into like Guitar Center and like play some shit and people are like, what the fuck, man? Because I went in one and people were like playing like um, Doobie Brothers and like Trisha Yearwood or some shit and like I went in and just, I picked up a Squire Strat and I was all like... So if you know it's kind of like classical stuff, but it's not rehearsed, I just know the scales and what you do is you modulate key, that's the key, key to modulate key, check it out. So D minor, I'm tuned down, but it's D minor on the guitar, is, it would be really like B minor, I don't know what I'm tuned at. but. You got D minor, so you can fuck with that. Kind of like harmonic, neoclassic shit. But then you could throw in some thrashy shit, so it's more like thrash, not not like Ingve. You can mix it up, so check this out. like death metal or like thrash or just fuck up some shit or you could go back to like the rocky metal type shit like <laughs> but then switch back over <laughs> So you could do like an A minor neoclassic or D minor, what we're just in. So you know all this chords from D minor. Speed isn't an issue to me. It's more about knowing the ne the neoclassic, the actual like scale of it. So, so the thing is, like, if you're trying to just do a jam, don't do a strict thing. Be able to modulate into different things, and that keeps your mind moving. So, from D minor, from the books, they teach you that you have to do a certain kind of modulation. You know, from the 80s and stuff, like they're going to teach you, okay, so you can't really modulate that much. You got to stay in like the progression and, and follow Mozart by the book and stuff, which is good and all. I mean, personally, I don't really get that far into it, but okay, listen to what I'm trying to get at. So you could throw in some thrashy stuff like what's with all the mid-range on this so you just throw in some thrashy just whatever and then you
So that really wasn't in a key. So the, the keys thing are what's holding you back. You can just modulate from key to key. So go, go from D minor. Check it out. <laughs> So they're going to think, oh, well, he's going to do more in that key. Just modulate it. Go to E minor. As long as you're proficient in each key, nobody's going to really notice. And besides, you can just modulate around from style to style, key to key, in any rock or metal context, and it doesn't even matter. Rocky, more rock and roll type stuff. More traditional, traditional metal. And then break right into something a little more. So another thing that you should look at is you have the power chord, like that. But whenever you do a power chord and go, it's, it's really the major, see? Look. That's really, so it's like, see, that's the root. So you can do shit like that, so it's like, You don't have to be totally conscious of the progression or key you're in. As long as you modulate with taste, I think taste is what you're going for. So. See? So it's like patterns, and it's kind of off the top of my head, and I'm not keeping track of what key I'm in. That's kind of holding people back, even in thrash or metal. Just modulate keys. <laughs> See, the idea is that you have a harmony. It doesn't hurt 
to read through a lot of classical guitar books like uh, Carcassi or Soar, like Fernando Soar or even Parkening, Segovia, J.S. Bach, um, like for piano, and just play one, just play the treble part of the like two part inventions. This stuff's not easy to play. <laughs> It's kind of a carryover from jazz, but is that if you are in a key, um, just listen to the notes that it leads you to. So even from D minor, that's all tonal, that's all D minor. Now listen to this. Normally, that might be like a buzzkill if you go to B natural in a D minor thing. So, see, I was just in D minor. But what could you do from that? I would just like maybe go to E major uh, dominant. Because that note's part of that. So, you could just jam into that. So. And go back to D minor. See when you go to D minor, watch. It's part of A. Don't be afraid of bad notes because they could be part of a modulation in any situation in the 12 tone guitar neck that we have. Somehow in B flat, kind of like thrash or something like this. Let's try it with the B. Not that B. 
beat. Here we go. you can mix it up pretty cool so what else can we do here I guess that's it okay good night